Over the next three weeks, I'm gonna answer the three most common questions I get when it comes to building a set in Ableton Live. And today I wanna answer, how can I build a set of multiple songs at different tempos in Ableton Live? And I wanna start by showing you how we typically manage tempo and saved our tempo and arrangement view and show you how to do it in a way that's not gonna take lots of time and in a way that you don't have to redo all your work. So make sure you stick around to see that. Plus I'm gonna share a free resource that's gonna make this process so fast for you. So uh, let's talk about how we've done this in the past. I've got a arrangement view file open up here. In arrangement view, essentially everything here, uh, this, this whole file, if I uh, go all the way to the end, the tempo for this is managed by Live's global tempo, which is the upper left-hand corner. So I can go up here and type 120, and now this file is going to play at 120 BPM. Uh, I can type 90, and now it's at 90 BPM. Now granted, I don't have any stems in this file quite yet, but I'm setting a tempo for the entire file. That's great if I'm just working on an individual song, uh, but it's not great if I'm trying to build a set of multiple tempos. And if I save my tempo um, for my live file this way, and I drag another live file in, the tempo Tempo is not going to come with it. So that's not a great way. So the second way we've typically done this, and this is what I've done in the past, is I've enabled automation mode in Ableton Live, uh, gone down to my master track here, and made sure I have my song tempo pulled up. And then I've used this envelope here to create breakpoints to basically say, okay, let's say song one's 90 BPM, and it goes from here to about this measure. And then let's drag this up and let's say this is at 124. So this song's gonna go from here to here. And then let's do this one at, uh, let's say 85 BPM. We'll move this over so that it sticks at 85. And then this song is gonna be at 155 BPM. I've gone in and I've drawn in automation in my tempo track. And there's nothing wrong with that if I'm working on one live session and I'm not gonna ever move that around. But if I save this in my live set and then try to drag it into another live set, the tempo is not going to come with it. So let me show you a special trick and hack that I have found that helps you save your tempo with your live file so as you go to build a set of songs with multiple tempos, uh, it's all going to carry over. So the first thing I'm gonna do is let's open this template back up to just kind of reset this to where it was, okay? Um, I wanna encourage you to head to from studiostage.com slash template. You can actually download my free tracks template, which is really similar to the one I'm using here. I'm using bits and pieces from my uh, advanced tracks template, which is for from Studio to Stage subscribers. They get it for free uh, and uh, parts of the free tracks template. But go to from studiostage.com slash template to download the template. Here's what you're going to need for that. So here's my template. Uh, I'm gonna go and let's actually open uh, this file here. I want you to see something in particular with this file. If you look at this track right here, I, this is called a tempo clip and it's in what I call a tempo track. What I've done, this is just a blank clip of audio. You can see there's no audio recorded here, but I've used this clip uh, and gone down to my segment BPM to type in a BPM. So I could go and say something like 76 BPM, click from leader to follower back to leader, and that's gonna actually save my tempo with it. Now in this case, I wanna go back to 72 BPM so that that's saved with my song. Now, if I do this with each of my songs, let me show you how this works. We'll delete this. I've got some tutorials where I've showed you how to add a tempo track before, but I can go back in here and we said we're at 72. So I'm gonna drag this in, right? And we're gonna drag out this tempo track and we're gonna drag it to be the entire length of our song. So let's click and drag here, right? All the way to the end. And again, whatever tempo I want, I can enter the segment BPM and click from follower to leader. Now when I hit save, that's saved with my file. So here's what's great about this. How can I build a live set of multiple songs? Let's open our template back up. Let's drop in our first song here. And we're gonna start with the song we just used, okay? I'm gonna drop this into my set. And when I build sets, I build them in a particular way that I teach using something called the three-part framework for using tracks. I've talked about that before on the channel. I'll link to some tutorials where I show that. So I'm gonna drop this first song in. I'm gonna get it loaded into my set. Again, what was our tempo for the song? 72 BPM. What's it say up here? 76. So something doesn't seem right about that. But don't give up, don't quit. Watch what happens after I drag my second song in. So let's go to this song here. Actually, let's, let's go to Locator 2. We'll move this out of the way for song two. I'm gonna to go to my second song. We're gonna drop this in. Okay, we'll scroll up here. And we're gonna take this. And again, I'm gonna use my three-part framework for using tracks to do this really quickly. Drop this in, we'll paste it. All right, and there's our second song. So now, watch Live's global tempo. If I press two, we go over to this song, which is 81 BPM, and if I press one, we go over to this song, which is 72 BPM. Now, the reason that this changed from 76, which was what my set was set to at first, to 72, is again, because of that tempo track that's locked in there. 
And if I go to song two, uh, my tempo track is set to 81. So as long as you have a tempo track for each one of your songs uh, and you save it in your live set and then bring that back into your template, your tempo is gonna be saved. And you can have an Ableton Live session with songs at whatever tempo you want. Now, what do you do though, if in the middle of your song, there's a tempo change, maybe going into the bridge, the song um, uh, retards, the click retards slightly, and then comes up to another tempo, or maybe every chorus it changes. What do you do in that case? So I'm gonna show you how to do that next. But in order to see that, you've gotta to subscribe to the channel and enable the bell icon so you see when that video goes live. And in that video, I'll show you exactly how to manage tempo changes. It's super, super easy, it's super quick, and you can have a live set of tempos with uh, songs with multiple tempos as well as songs with tempo changes as well too. So make sure you download the template from studiosage.com slash template. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next week. Take care everybody, bye.